right guys, so today we're gonna go for some halibut and maybe some stripers, striped bass that are gonna be in the area. I got my bait casting rod. Got this Texas rig on here already from rock fishing, so I might just use that uh, to start off. I got some one-out hooks, and I got a bunch of swim baits. A bunch of them, all different colors. Got this like chartreuse, oh man, so shiny, you can't even see it. Worm, got another worm, straight worm. Black and silver swim bait. Cream and white. And then a silver one, straight silver. This is about a three inch swim bait. Another one, looks like whale. <laughs> so originally I wanted to use drop shot rig and I was gonna uh, toss that out there with the one ounce weight, troll it back. But since I have this rockfish rig already on, I'm gonna actually throw this first. Um, if it doesn't work, cut it out and then switch it out. Weather today is great. Today in San Francisco, it's it's a low 80s today. It's supposed to be 82. It's hot. I'm already hot just standing here. I'm not even doing anything. I haven't even started fishing yet. Let's try the spot for a little bit. So low tide was about uh was about an hour an hour ago first cast out yeah low tide was about an hour ago so I'm fishing the incoming tide so there are a ton of little bait fish in there See stuff shining in the water? Pretty shallow here, only like five feet deep. Alright, it's not working. I think I'm gonna switch to the drop shot. Let's do it. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, remove, cut off this line. Then I have some uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon here that I'm gonna attach to my main line. So I'm simply just gonna tie a barrel swivel onto my main line and then I'm gonna attach some uh, fluorocarbon to it. And then I have these one out hooks. Make sure that the shank is flat here. Just gonna run it through the eye of the hook. I want about eight to ten, eight to twelve inches of line from your hook to your weight at the end. What you simply do is make a loop, and then what you could do with your hook is to literally put it through that loop several times. One, two, three. Four, five, and then you can start cinching that knot in from either side. Pull from one side, get that side tight, pull from the other side. And so it should sit horizontal like this on your line. And I have about, yeah, it's great, this is about 10 inches from the bottom, which I'm going to tie um, my weight to. And so what's going to happen is that your weight is going to drag on the bottom. And as you're reeling in, your bait is going to be suspended. It's gonna be suspended about, you know, almost a foot from the surface. And so a drop shot works really well if um, the ocean floor is sandy because you don't want any snags. You're essentially gonna drag and troll this weight on the bottom. And then this is about 10 inches from um, the weight, which is where normally halibut like to strike. That's sort of their strike zone. Come here, Bernice. 
you catch any fish today? Not yet. I kind of just started. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Do you fish out here much? No, it's my first time. Oh, cool. You're ready. <laughs> You're ready to catch yeah. the big fish. So with the drop shot rig, you normally don't even have to jig because of the way the the bait is presented. It should already be suspended from the floor. Oh, that's a bite. I got a bite. Oh, I'm on. Oh. Oh. Oh, I definitely had a bite. Oh, I definitely had a bite. Oh, it's a halibut. That's a halibut bite. I don't know if you guys can see that. I know there's halibut here. Pretty excited. That was about where it bit too. Let's see. So what I'm doing now is just walking along the shore, casting out, trying to cover as much area as I can so I can find the fish. I'm sure there's halibut around, I'm sure of it. Just need to find them. I mean, what halibut could resist this guy dangling in his face? Oh, yep, I'm on. Come on. I got a fish on. Yep, I got a fish on. Let's go. Small Halley. Small guy. Small guy. It's all right. Well, my first halibut. Tiny guy. Told you, right? What kind of fish could resist that? Small, really small. Hey, let's show the camera. They're beautiful, look at their teeth though. And these guys could get huge. In Alaska, oh my God, I wish I could fish in Alaska. I mean, these guys are, these guys are monsters. Shout out to TJ and Jan, I've seen them bring up some monster halibut. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this guy's uh, pretty small. Beautiful though, I love, I love how they're patterned they just sit there camouflaged waiting for bait to come by and then rah, and then they strike all right let's release this guy back into the water you go but, all right thanks for letting me catch you hope you swim off good Oh, I'm on. Oh, striper. Striper. Wow, he hit, he hit really close, right there. That was fun. 